Okay, now, uh, from now on, this is your assignment. So you need a basic volume. Uh, so let's say uh, 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 you need to draw a mass building. So let's say you, let's use the same technique. Uh, you actually the each one is simply using this box one, box function. So I clicked it and then I just click a box here, roughly somewhere here, and then I'll kind of uh, draw a uh, change height here. So let's say I'm going to use 30 feet again, and then you Barbara, you need to rotate the building matching this bottom line to the bottom line of the site. So to do that, simply type rotate and select object to rotate so I select object and select and then enter when you're done and the center of rotation I will select the corner button point to select that I will activate object snap on and then I will select the button point and you see that reference uh, line here so angle or first reference point so I'm going to use the other corner point as my first reference point and then I'll drag it down to match, to roughly match the side line here. So now we just rotate it. To move it, I simply type move and enter. Or again, a select object to move. So I select it. And I will ask a select and then I enter, press enter when done. So I hit enter. And point to move from. So this one is first reference point. I just select uh, some corner point of a volume. And actually, put, move, uh, point to move to, so I simply move it somewhere nearby here. But when you do that, actually, that uh, this uh, object snap actually uh, kind of like make me uncomfortable to select what the point where I want to. So I just turn it off, object snap. Okay. Then actually, I move near somewhere near the center. Okay, so now I have a volume. So this is your assignment. So make a site mode, a south boundary line, and a building. And actually, there's one more thing because this one is currently. Okay, so this, uh, this one. Actually, there's one more thing. I will explain in the next uh, video.